Oh, hello. I see you're my next patient. Yes, have a seat, have a seat. Now, let me just look up your... He is very odd, peculiar even. What? You, you don't know what I'm talking about? Well, I am... Um, you do know that you have a... Uh, that you have a... Uh, well, shall we say... Uh, you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? You look so... Uh, very well. Uh, have you ever been to a doctor before? You haven't. You haven't. You haven't. Exactly, exactly. Where do you live? In a castle. Beneath a castle. In a... Dungeon, and you just got out. Oh my! Oh my! Indeed, 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 indeed. So you 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 have no clue that you have, shall we say, an extra little thing on your forehead. No, 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 of course, you're, you're perfectly natural. For a freak. <coughs> what? No, 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 I, I said it's raining outside, yes. Well, I, I shall start by taking your vitals. Okay? Okay. Now, if you could just remove your sack that's covering your body. Good. Now I shall listen to your ho- That's odd. No, 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 no. Nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong. It's just that I, I, I seem to cannot find a heartbeat. <laughs> what? Listen to your knee? Your knee, sir? Oh, yes, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Now, this is odd. Sir, are you familiar with the word freak? You are not. Okay, okay. Well, your heart seems perfectly normal in your knee. It beats normal, anyway. Do I dare to ask where your lungs are? Oh, I'm sorry, of course they are in your bag. <laughs> I, 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 I just, you know. Very well. Here we go, old fella. If you would just take a breath. With your ears? Are you breathing through your ears? Very well, very well. Yes, it, it, it sounds perfectly normal. Perfectly normal. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, then. Shall we take a look at that eye in your forehead? <laughs> yes, yes. You said you had <clears throat> trouble seeing. Am I correct? You had trouble seeing with that eye. Well, um, all right, I don't, I, I will try to poke it, yes, to get a reaction, to po poke it, yes. This is so odd, peculiar, so Well, it does react to the Q-tip. It does, it does, yes, mm, no problem there. It reacts. 
<laughs> Excuse me, sir. I need something to calm myself down. Uh, it's been a very hectic day, and... Okay, where is my cigarette lighter? <sighs> Do you know that you have three legs? It's the stress. The stress, I tell you. It's got to be the stress. <laughs> You're not in there, are you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Of course you're real. Of course. Why wouldn't you be real? Of course there are people with three legs, three eyes, breathing through the ears, have a heartbeat in their knee. Why, why, why shouldn't you be real? Very well, it's bad for your health anyway to smoke. This might come off as an odd question. Um, but is there anyone else like you that you have seen? You have only seen yourself. Then, 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 sir, if you don't mind, doesn't I look peculiar in your eyes? Yes, you can tell me anything. I'm a monster? Ah, no, 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 no. Let's make one thing perfectly clear. I am perfectly normal. It's you who are a bit... Dare I say... Odd. Like belong in a museum, odd. All right. Well, let me see your hand. That's odd. That's very odd. Excuse me, sir, where do you poop? Yes, I understand that you found it strange that I shook your, took your hand. <laughs> I just didn't know. Well, sir, let me put it like this. There's nothing wrong with you physically. I mean, you work perfect. You're in perfect working order, as far as I can see. But you do have a strange illness. Now, this illness is not very known to men. And I have personally never seen a case such as severe as yours. Yes, I'm afraid you have monsterism. Yes, monsterism. It's a very rare disease, and obviously most people who has this rare disease tend to live underground, in basements, in castles, in dungeons, holes in the forest. Yes. So, what I want to do is keep you here. Yes, would that be nice for you? It's much better. Better than that old dungeon in the castle now, isn't it? Jolly good, jolly good. Then, I, then you don't mind if I cut you up in pieces to study you either. Very well, very well. Thank you, my old fellow. We shall start immediately. If you would just undress yourself and I will go get the hacksaw. 